In an eerie coincidence, former chef for Barack Obama, Tafari Campbell, was found dead in a pond near the former president's home on Martha's Vineyard, Massachusetts, drawing parallels with the strange death of Walter Scheib, a White House chef for both Bill Clinton and George W. Bush. Campbell, 45, was reportedly paddleboarding close to Obama's residence when he suddenly struggled, submerged, and never resurfaced. Scheib, who served as an executive chef at the White House for 11 years, met a similarly tragic fate in 2015. He drowned while hiking in New Mexico's Sangre de Cristo Mountains. Now, we can't ignore the elephant in the room. As personal chefs in the White House, these men had front row seats to countless private conversations and were privy to a myriad of sensitive information. It's reasonable to wonder whether their roles could have inadvertently placed them in precarious positions. In both cases, these well-respected chefs were found dead in bodies of water under circumstances that raise more questions than answers. Interestingly, both deaths occurred at potentially significant political junctures. Scheib's death followed close on the heels of Obama's second term, and Campbell's demise comes as House Speaker McCarthy is floating the possibility of a Biden impeachment, including major investigations touching areas in both the Obama and Biden administrations. While there's no suggestion of foul play in either case, the circumstances of these deaths and their close ties to presidential figures provoke questions about the shadowy intersections of power, politics, and personal tragedy. Our hearts go out to the Campbell and Scheib families as they navigate the grief of their personal losses.